Good morning, squad. Welcome back to Mad Missing Sports Morning Show, the number one spot for everything sports talk, sports news, sports debate in the morning. Hope y'all had a great, fun, adventurous, safe weekend. We got a crazy rundown this Monday. Of course, we got to start it off touching on Kyrie Irving demanding a trade Friday, getting traded Sunday, and then we got to speak on what does that mean for the Brooklyn Nets and the Dallas Mavericks. Then we're going to shift gears over to the NFL Pro Bowl games and the NFC beating the AFC equally. Was that new format better for the Pro Bowl? Then I'm going to touch on my Bob segment, Blown Out Bets. What bet did I lose over the past weekend that I felt like was a blowout or a close bet that I should have won and then to end it off we're going to speak on the primetime games coming on for the NBA tonight we got the Los Angeles Clippers at the Brooklyn Nets and then we got the Milwaukee Bucks at the Portland Trail Blazers let's get right into it gang So to start off episode 100, Kyrie Irving must really be watching my show, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, how does this dude and his antics always coincide with something that I'm saying or my shows, the timing, something? Thank you, though, Kyrie. Thank you for making episode 100 of Mad Missy Sports Morning Show so epic, so, so big. You get what I'm saying? This is a huge milestone for not only me, but then you got this huge news of Kyrie Irving Friday afternoon demanding a trade from the Brooklyn Nets because they weren't seeing eye to eye on contract situation because Kyrie wanted his contract extension right now and the Brooklyn Nets were basically saying finish out the year, see where they, how far you go, and then we'll give you the contract in the summertime. I'm like, okay, that's going to make Monday episode crazy. Then we had the, the, the bigger news drop yesterday. Kyrie Irving traded to the Dallas Mavericks for Spencer Dinwiddie, Dorian Finney-Smith, and... The 2029 first round pick and the 2027 first and second round pick. Woo! What huge news, man. For me, what does this mean for the Brooklyn Nets? To me, this has just got to be... This has got to be the beginning of the end for the Brooklyn Nets because I just don't see how... And what, like, their first round... Their picks are in 2027 and 2029. It's 2023. That's six years from now. Kevin Durant going to be done by the time y'all get those picks in. So I don't see maybe they could use them for bargaining chips to get another star in there. But I don't see Spencer Dinwiddie and Dorian Finney-Smith helping the Brooklyn Nets this year, especially them trying to become contenders in that Eastern Conference. They didn't add any size. Y'all still going to get pounded on by Giannis, Jason Tatum, and Joel Embiid. That's just as simple as it gets. Point blank period. So to me, I look at that from the Brooklyn Nets side and they, they took an L unless they use those draft picks to to, to to get another piece. Maybe that's Damian Lillard. I, I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? But that to me didn't bode well for the Brooklyn Nets and for the Dallas Mavericks. I mean, does this make them contenders to me? I'm going to say no, because they, they didn't add any size. You get what I'm saying? They still got Christian Wood who's soft. He plays on the perimeter. They have no size. You got Luka Doncic, yeah, he's he's ball dominant. You got Kyrie Irving, yeah, he's ball dominant. You get what I'm saying? So I know that the Dallas Mavericks are looking at it like they're replacing something that they lost last year in Jalen Brunson and another ball handler with a better ball handler, a better player. And he is a better player, but he has to be just as consistent and just as reliable as Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson's a professional. Kyrie Irving isn't. Kyrie Irving, he got Kyrie Irving. Let's let's talk about this. Kyrie Irving was a bust before LeBron James decided to come back to Cleveland. They were a lottery team three years straight with Kyrie Irving leading the show down there in Cleveland in that weak Eastern Conference. Then they immediately go to the finals when LeBron come, decides to come back home. Then that extent only lasts three years because guess what? Kyrie Irving wants to get up out of there. He's not happy enough. He wants to be a leader of his own dudes. He goes to Boston. Okay, he goes over to Boston. He sees it's not what he expects it to be. Now he wants to get out of Boston. He wants to get up under another superstar that can carry more of the burden on the basketball court. Let's link up with Kevin Durant. No, KD, let's not go to let's not go to New York. Let's not go to the Mecca. Let's not go to MSG. Let's go to Brooklyn. Let's go to Barclays. Let's go play for the Nets. And then in three years, let's get out of here. I'm a holla at y'all. And and then throughout Ever since leaving Cleveland, he's never played close to a full season. Never played close to a full season. So he's not nearly as professional and he's not nearly as reliable as Jalen Brunson. But I see what the Dallas Mavericks were doing. But to me, it's just they lost some of the shooting that they had last year. They lost some of the size with Dorian Finney-Smith. They lost some of that grit with Dorian Finney-Smith. And they're just the same team last year. Just a little, just probably a little bit worse because they don't have just as, they don't have um, the same depth 
that they had last year. So to me, no, they're not contenders. You still think you've got the Denver Nuggets out there. You still got the Los Angeles Clippers that's getting healthy. You got the Golden State Warriors. They're not going anywhere. So then you got the Memphis Grizzlies. I, I mean, to me, are, are they? Does this trade make them clear front runners in the West? No. To I mean, to me, it's they still in the middle of the pack. Do they have a chance? Yeah. They got two superstars, but are they the favorites in the West? No, it doesn't make them the, favor the favorites in the West, and it's very risky if they don't decide to give Kyrie Irving that contract extension. If they don't give Kyrie that contract extension, it, it looks like it, it was all for nothing. So to me, this is a lose-lose situation, unless the Brooklyn Nets use those draft picks to acquire another superstar to pair with Kevin Durant. Because you look at it, the Dallas Mavericks aren't going to be contenders in my opinion, and then the Brooklyn Nets aren't going to be contenders in my opinion, and that's disappointing on both aspects, on both aspects. When you look at, at least the Dallas Mavericks got to the Western Conference Finals last year, the Brooklyn Nets haven't gotten to a Conference Finals since constructing that super team. That's just sad. That's just sad. Let's move on though. Let's touch on the Pro Bowl games. You had the NFC beating the AFC, well, I think it was 35-33 in the Pro Bowl games. What did I think? Of the new format to me i just I, I was sick i know i'm a niners fan so i should be rooting for the nfc but i will never root for eli manning over peyton manning so i'm out there like come on afc get this stuff together you fool them saying it looked like they was about to pull away and then the third game started Derek carr out there sputtering on offense only got one touchdown in flag football come on bro in your own stadium i'm thinking oh i, I was hearing peyton manning uh logic on why he was leaving players behind and how, why he was saving the Raiders players for last. I'm like, oh, they about to come out there and ball. And they didn't. You feel what I'm saying? But I absolutely love the new format of the Pro Bowl game starting on Thursday, having skills competitions, then continue it on Sunday and, and continuing it, having three flag football games for all three quarterbacks to play in. Then they move in fast. Then you had the other competitions going on, the other skills competitions going on. So I, I absolutely loved it. Moved the change. You had the gauntlet. It, it was amazing. You feel what I'm saying? Got to see the characters from these players. You got to see the faces on these players. You just got to see the everything that comes with these players other than being gladiators in that you know what I'm saying in the in the uniform and the equipment you get what I'm saying you got to see them as humans you got to see them as humans and it was absolutely absolutely beautiful let's move on blown out bets from the weekend what was my worst Bob we we on Bob segment what was my worst blown out bet from the weekend to me it was it wasn't a blowout that that I looked at and I was like damn but it was Russell Westbrook being benched for the entire fourth quarter and going short two assists on my parlay i hit everything on the lakers pelicans parlay i'm knocking them all boom 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 then i look at the assist from russell westbrook and i'm thinking that one is the easiest one that's the one that i need to check right now he gonna get six assists he had four then i look i'm watching the game i'm looking at the highlights and they like yeah he only played like two minutes in the fourth quarter no duh he only had four assists in the game damn Come on, Russ. That, that's supposed to be a gimme. I'm, I'm getting six assists from Russ? That's in the bank. That's in the bank. Clearly it wasn't. You feel what I'm saying? Clearly it wasn't. So to me, that was the worst blown out bet from this weekend was Russell Westbrook not getting six assists and missing out on my parlay by two assists from Russell Westbrook, who's averaging like seven, eight assists this year. You feel what I'm saying? That, that should have been a gimme to me. Let's move on, though. Let's, before we end off episode 100 of Mad Music Sports Morning Show, let's touch on the Clippers at the Brooklyn Nets and then the Milwaukee Bucks at the Portland Trail Blazers. What am I expecting from each game? For me, I'm looking at this. We're going to start off with the first game. We got the Los Angeles Clippers at the Brooklyn Nets. I'm looking at this game. Both won three of the last five games. Clippers should dominate this game, though, when I just spoke, speak on the Brooklyn Nets trading away Kyrie Irving. And then you got Kevin Durant still out. So I'm going to look at the Clippers big in this one in Brooklyn. I'm going to say 97-110 Clippers over the Brooklyn Nets. They just have too much talent. Let's move on to the Milwaukee Bucks at the Portland Trail Blazers. Bucks won seven straight games. Trail Blazers won three of the last five games. Bucks won the first matchup 111 119 who am i going with in this one to me i'm gonna I'm go with the milwaukee bucks in this one to continue their winning streak on the west coast because they just they got Giannis. you feel what i'm saying this dude's been utterly unstoppable the since he's come back from injury like i said on my friday episode is he the most dominant player since 
Shaquille O'Neal, in my opinion, yes, he is. And then he'll dominate this matchup with the Portland Trailblazers. Even if Yusuf Nurkic is out there, I'm going to still go with the Milwaukee Bucks and Giannis going out there and dominating the game. I'm going to say the Milwaukee Bucks, 116, 113 over the Portland Trailblazers. Let me know what y'all think, though. Mad Music Sports Morning Show, episode 100. Kyrie Irving demanded a trade, then got traded to the Dallas Mavericks. Does this make the Dallas Mavericks contenders in the Western Conference? What's going on with the Brooklyn Nets? Then moving on, let me know what y'all think about the Pro Bowl games. Did y'all like the new format? Bob, blown out bets. I didn't have a blown out bet, but I did have a blown bet this weekend. What was one of y'all worst bets from this past weekend? And then before we end it off, what do y'all expect from the Los Angeles Clippers at the Brooklyn Nets and then the Milwaukee Bucks at the Portland Trail Blazers? Break those day games down and tell me who y'all got coming away with the win. Mad Mizzy Sports Morning Show. Like, comment, share, subscribe, listen, alert. Mizzy World Entertainment. Gang.